everybody, hope you're doing really well. Today I am at a very um, interesting place to explore and I will tell you more about it but I promise you on this one when it comes to a place that's got a dark history about it it's gonna not get much darker than this so stay with me and we're gonna do it old school today we're not gonna have a history lesson I'm just gonna talk you through it and you'll know why when I am um, well, when I talk you through it you'll find out why so stay with me come on Hiya, welcome back. So, what am I doing today? Where am I? I did sort of say this place has a dark history and it really, really does. Um, we're at an animal rendering plant, which is basically the termination of cattle in this instance. But what makes this place really interesting is that it was a place where BSE or mad cow's disease for most of you this place was where they literally rendered the cattle or terminated them and it was only one of four places in all of England that would do it so let me talk, talk you through it the lorries that would be carrying all of the dead cattle that had already been terminated or had died mostly of BSE would come in here they'd be from what I know they'd be taken through those doors and then they'd be mashed up and terminated and uh, it's just a very dark place obviously you can see these were the offices it's um yeah and like I said, to know there was only one of four of these places. If you're not familiar with BC, BSE, Mad Cow's Disease, it was quite a big thing. Even when I was growing up in the 90s, you had to disinfect your shoes if you were sort of near livestock. And it was, um, and yeah, it just not nice. And this is why, actually, one of the main reasons why I didn't want to sort of do a history lesson because that would have incorporated me showing you um, images of all of that if that makes sense so we're not going to do that because it's just gross but I'll show you around Absolutely stinks of bird crap. It's really disgusting smell. And there's no way I'm going in that. That stinks. That's a horrible smell. I mean, at one point, this place was um, in heavy use. God, 
out there are some smells. Not nice smells. Oh my god, that is disgusting. This place is just really weird. Feels like it should be out of like a sort of zombie apocalypse movie. Sodium hypochloride intake point. Caustic soda liquor intake point. Wow. Must be one of the little workshops they had. Wow. Look at that. So we're at the far end of where we came through. control room. Bloody hell. Talk about things getting dark and just creepy like you know that's crazy. I'm surprised at the amount of stuff that is still here. Look at that. That's worrying isn't it when you see that eye irrigation cabinet. 
Bloody hell. Protective clothing must be worn in this area. Jesus. Messages. What in the hell? Bloody hell. Talk about somewhere being dark. This is crazy. Kent Bearing, look at that. Samples are near Mrs. Health and Safety. This is weird. It's weird because of the condition that it's in. Literally the band and there's no way I'm calm. There's some steps there. I'm looking for it. I'm look. I mean, I can see everything fine. The problem is, is that you can't touch anything and anything you do touch well just don't really there was a um, talk of that there was like a conspiracy that was basically saying that well, not a conspiracy but that this place had been allegedly it could go into the water supply and then it could and then there was people apparently who had maybe caught illness and died from the waste that was in here and it fed into the water system. It's an odd place. It's an odd place when you're on your own. Not in a creepy way, but when you know what it is and what it was used for. I've still got a mask just in case, because if I go into some claustrophobic places, not claustrophobic, if I go into tight spaces, if there's, I don't want to breathe in any extra chemicals that are in there. That's just from experience, but if you look behind us, that's what we travelled through. Yeah. It's a strange explore, it's an explore where I don't really want to go into much just because of the chemicals that were in there and everything else. It's been shut for... I can't remember how long it was, was it 15 years it's been shut for? It's been shut for a very long time. That doesn't mean that stuff, chemicals, still don't exist around here. Contain. Oh, 
It's not open, everyone. Look at that. Can you imagine them shutters? It's a scary prospect. So yeah, look, that was the canteen. Security block, again, same principle, can't get in. Walk around. Substances where PPE, I bet. silos so look at this look this eye irrigation cabinet is still full look at that sterile wash sterile eye wash some bandages it's actually full can you believe that that's crazy actually caught the original stuff in it that is so weird electricity god it smells oh god it's like a um the only way to describe it is like this sort of feral smell like um all the different types of droppings that you can imagine like ferret rabbit bat all put into one and it stinks absolutely smells i don't think i've ever been into a place that just literally reeks we'll go through there God, here we go, smell again. It is so bad.
けど。それは。どうやって。In time, isn't it? Clock in, punch out, half mailbox, day shift, night shift. Jeez, I don't just bother if I can't be bothered. I've got a bit of humour.
place with the canteen from the inside. You can see it out there. This is eerie. It's like all of a sudden this place just changes the way it's going there. It's a way different atmosphere to it. I wouldn't say it's scary. It's just it's odd because not much of it's been smashed up or broken. I mean, look, I mean, the canteen is still here. You can imagine after a long day of killing cattle, you come in here and you have your fag and you have everything else. It's so odd. I'm not going to look in the drawers or the fridge, to be fair. Clearly people have been in here and they've been turfing stuff out. It says 12 o'clock on that. Wow. It is so creepy in here. All the electrical stuff. because you don't normally see industrial stuff like this in this condition you normally see it even well in worse condition than this but this is creepy beyond words I suppose it's creepy because I'm on my own look there's lockers you sort of walk past they've all got names on them look Andy Rhodes, Simon Grant they're on there as well Simon Grant, yeah, look. Julian Goss is that, I think? Can't see mine. Smell of fucking pigeon crap. Talk about mass exodus of pigeons. Now this is the disgusting part. Yeah, that's horrible. Can you imagine them turning and turning? I'm assuming that's to chop up the cattle into pieces. I would assume they get brought in via the lorries and they get dropped into this. And then there's probably the foreman or the warehouse operator's room. We'll have a look at that. Not really in the mood to do a lot of climbing today. Somebody put a ladder down there, they clearly want to get to the other side. For whatever reason. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to say to yourself, I can see it from here, thank you. <laughs> My god, though, it's. Can you imagine the noise? It's just so weird. I genuinely wasn't expecting it to be a sort of 
preserved as this but the smell is unbelievable if um some of you may have seen me do uh the what was it the royal iris video in which i went on a very famous abandoned boat and in that instance in that very instance it was a very similar smell not a pleasant one Christ we're gonna I'm gonna do it I mean look at this I'm not touching anything bloody hell it's open and this floor is wet Right, so I'm gonna have to disinfect myself like hardcore before I even get in the car. Jesus Christ, this is so weird. It is like being in a zombie apocalypse film. See the TVs, the surveillance. I'm assuming what would have been a board. Do you know what? I was starting to lose hope on this place and think not really much to sort of document here, but bloody hell, this it's um, quite exciting. All these plugs, I know I'm probably slightly rushing it but the reason why I'm doing that is because it's just oh god don't touch anything horrible I will definitely say that it is one of the most foul smelling places I've ever been in my life well it is we've finally done it oh my god it's like just horrible. Emergency stop. Oh man, this is just disgusting. And like I think for most of you, for me to say something's disgusting says a lot, considering places that I have done Christ I'll be glad to get out of here to be honest look at this so what I would have seen looking at it now is to transport the cattle not necessarily to crush them to transport them all the way up here can you imagine oh, that is horrible and there's another pit there have a look now what the bloody hell is that sound what the hell is that noise is that a bird I didn't feel like that before. This is creepy now. like one minute you feel okay then the next minute this really bad wave of just I don't know I can't describe it that really bad wave of saying bad what in the bloody hell is this
He never wanted to get out of the place more. But I'm drawn to having to finish this off. Bloody hell, that's a huge drop. If I'd known that. Oh my god, this is just. You can't see this. But this is underneath the trough. I don't think we need to go any further. It stinks and it's probably really bad chemicals. God, I hate this place. I'm really starting to hate this place. I suppose it's, oh, holy shit. My foot. Bloody hell. I now know that I'm standing on a mega part that if for whatever reason this fell, that is game over. Oh, I just want to get out. I've never said that about a place ever. But yeah, what I was gonna say was if you're with other people, you probably won't notice it. The only thing that you'll probably complain about is the smell, but I can safely say this place has got an atmosphere that I do not like. It's not just because of the smell, it's just death. And obviously we know it's only animals that died here, but God, that smell of death really is horrible. Absolutely horrible. Like I said, there's no way I'm doing any fancy camera work today. Put my elbow on that. There we go. Try not to literally try not to touch anything in here. I'll take my shirt off. Luckily, I've got a t shirt in the car. I'm probably going to change into that. Look at that. That is so far down. You can't see that. That's a huge drop. Oh, I hate, I hate, hate, hate it in here. For all of you out there, I am wearing a mask. Hang on, I'll show you. I am wearing one, but I'll be damned if that works in a place like this. It's semi-ventilated, but because you've got the thing is you've got this putrefying pigeon crap, which then forms its own form of disease. These boards are bouncing like bitches. around the back and then that's it and we are done oh man this is the worst place I've ever been in I know that um, I know that uh, if I it's one of these places, if you didn't know what it was, you would get, you'd still get a really bad feeling. You'd get a feeling that something wasn't right. And you know what, today, I don't care if some of you are saying, you don't need to wear a mask in here, it's fine. Tough iron. 
Bloody hell. That is so toxic. As long as I get out. I go through this way. Yeah. I remember now. Where all the ghosts live. The ghosts of dead cattle. That place. Never again. Oh, I hate this. I really hate it. I'm sorry. I never hated a place more. When you're outside, you're grateful for the fresh air because that was toxic. That was toxic. Oh, mate. Made my nose run. Let's walk around this bit. Oh, man, that was the, that was the worst. I'm sure we probably could go in there, couldn't we? And actually walk around, so I don't really know. I know we definitely can't go into the reception. Can we go around this bit? I don't remember looking. Maybe we can. Yeah, we can. <laughs> can, you, can you tell? I've just, I've never done that in my life where I've just gone, yeah, okay. God, saying it's wrong with me on this place. Bloody hell, look at the asbestos. Well, that is a huge amount of asbestos. If you think for one second I'm climbing up there, the amount of asbestos that's in here, even though it's open. I'm not doing that. Oh, look, there it is as well. Bloody hell. This place is a health and safety hazard. Well, at least we know that that's the shed part for this. So when we walk round, this is all we're potentially seeing. I might as well just walk in, just a few steps. But that asbestos, holy shit. I'm that concerned that even just going in here, I'm having to wear a mask. I just don't want any risk that bad what in the fuck that was a pity and obviously but it sounded like it was trying to open a door okay let's get out of here I just want to go now that, oh, this is horrible this is absolutely horrible thing is, some of you might be like, well, it's not that bad, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. trust me, I'm telling you now, that smell is foul. I've never, ever been into a place that stinks as much as that. That is horrible. There's your little fag stop there, look. You would have got your fags sat in there. Man, this place, I'm not going to forget it in a hurry, but for the wrong reasons. There you go, locked. We knew as much. I wonder if you can get round the back, but I don't think so. I think this is just literally a square block. Can you have a way to get round? Do I care if there is? I 
not even going in that smell. No. Right, so recap. Pretty much explored all of it. But why? I gave you the information. I did check it had been abandoned for 15 years. And uh, mad cow's disease. One of only four plants that are actually terminating the cattle here. God, this is a horrible place. Horrible, horrible. The rumour was that, um, from what I remember, so I'm glad I didn't even do a history lesson. I just don't want to know about this place, to be honest. Um, it would have been, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, that they're, they're basically going to leave it to rot. The idea was that they were going to propose to completely turn this into a, a new estate. But they were worried about, I think, contamination from what I remember. So, yeah, I, I wow. The thing is, with all the death that took place here, it's, it's no different than going into a mortuary, but you've just got to pretend that instead of a mortuary of humans, it would be cattle. It still has an impact. Like it still has a form of stone tape theory. It really does. But to see the toilets, to see the shower room, to see the canteen, Christ, that was in such good condition. I mean, the thing is, you can see the offices from in here, so you know, you're not, by default, you're not exactly missing out on anything. But my God, what a place. And on that note, in the immortal words of Phoenix history, we've finally done it. We've finally visited a place that I can safely say I will never visit again, never want to visit again, and absolutely hated it. Uh, hated, hated this one. This is the worst, this is the worst abandoned place I've ever been to, ever, 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 ever. Hated it. Now I've got to clean myself, take my shirt off, and everything else, just in case I was touching some really crappy stuff. I mean, the history is interesting, like I said, one of four that would have been used to terminate, pro, you know, the cattle that were infected. But, my God, I hated it, hated it here with a passion. So glad to be leaving now. So, yeah, take care, everybody. Like I said, we've done it. We've visited a place that is the worst place that I've ever been into in my life. And in what words of Phoenix history, because history matters, I guess you could argue that, yes, this is historic for all the wrong reasons. Anyway, I'll see y'all very soon. Remember to spread word of the channel. Much love to all of you out there. Take care. Ready? Come on in. Come out.